Alright you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maria and I am a tarot reader here on YouTube and I'm going to be doing the monthly reading for the month of August and this is going to be Aries reading for the month. Now if you want to go ahead and cross watch, uh, take a look at my channel. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and start off with the Oracle deck. And let's see what is going on with Aries. Okay. Trust. Hmm. Okay. So I feel like trust is a big factor in your life right now. Maybe you're not trusting of a lot of people or certain people. Trust, and then there's protection. Oh, interesting. You guys have, like, they're both like little eggs, right? Like, they're both, like, in the fetal position. So, I feel like maybe you guys are retrieving. I feel like you guys are recharging. You guys are just being in your own energy. You guys are really not maybe interacting with a lot of people and you're focusing on healing yourself. Maybe you're going through a hard situation right now, um, Aries, and it's just too much for you right now. So you're s trying to slowly like um, accept it and like move on from it. And I feel like you're taking a little bit of retrieval type of energy. You're just like trying to like recuperate, trying to love yourself, trying to nurture yourself by yourself. And um, I think that's really good. I think that's really good. You know, when you're going through things, sometimes you have to like step away from people and just focus on healing yourself, right? On protecting yourself. Um... You do have fear. I feel like there is a lot of fear that you have. Maybe you're dealing with a lot of your fears. A lot of... I feel like a lot of dark energy. Because it is really dark. I feel like fear. Right? We all fear something. I don't know. Yes. Um, people go through these situations, right, Aries? Um, but we have to face our fears. You know, not let our fears overtake us. It has to be the other way around because you're a warrior, right? You're an emperor. Aries is known for being an emperor in the tarot. So you got to take that energy of control. Awesome. All right, hunger, and you have a wolf. Maybe someone is into wolves, who knows? Anyways, you have the wolf moon, hunger, you have hunger. Okay. Yeah, I feel like you have hunger for like clarity, for trying to like move forward. You're definitely gonna have a lot of realization you're going to have a moment where you're realizing a lot of things. And sometimes that's how it is, right? When we step back and um, we start examining things from a different perspective. Cool. All right. That was one message for Aries. Now I'm going to go ahead and use the tarot deck. I feel like you're taking like a lot of naps <laughs> a lot of naps like you're sleeping a lot I feel like you could be depressed as well I feel like you could be very depressed all you do is like sleep and maybe it's like people are having to pull you out of bed just so just so that you can go do something it's like 
you just want to be hibernating. And maybe you're like hungry a lot. <laughs> you have hunger, right? You have the wolf moon. That's what it meant, right? Hunger. <laughs> yes. Realization. So you're at a, a standstill point right now. Yes. So we do have the Ace of Cups. So that means like new beginnings in love. I. It does also mean like self love. So I feel like you are maybe treating yourself. You could be going out to buy yourself stuff. You know, maybe you're changing up your look just so that you can, um, sorry you guys. Um, yeah, changing up your look to like feel better, right? They say when you look good, you feel good. All right. All right. Also, yeah. So you have the two of wands. The two of wands does represent a little bit of confusion. It also means, I kind of feel like, you need to watch out, um, because I feel like maybe sometimes you realize that if you play too much, you will get hurt, okay? So, you see how he's on those two, like those two wands this like is thin ice somebody is on thin ice and they're playing around and being on thin ice they say if you play on thin ice right it can get bad so be careful maybe that's a special message for somebody if you play sports, be careful because you could get hurt. Or maybe, yeah, it's like you're maybe you're out. Like, could be the special message is for somebody. Like, they could be out trying to be playing, doing something that is like really fun, right? But then they're having too much fun that they accidentally hurt themselves. You don't want that. But. You do have this card right here, and this card represents forward movement. Yeah. It means forward movement, and it's like, stop being sad. Stop being stuck on whatever fears you have because you have a lot of fears. I feel like you have so much on your shoulders. I feel like there's a lot of like inner conflict with you, right? And I feel like you try to put up a face like everything is okay. But at the end of the day, I feel like it's not and you're just hiding from it. And instead of hiding from it, you need to, like, work towards it. Like, go up. You see how there's the steps? You need to walk towards it and get out of this energy. This is so weird. <laughs> it's, like, all over the place. Right? But, you know, I like the self-love. I like the that you're being able to be yourself again. But I feel like you drag yourself down a lot. Um, you also do have the Ace of Wands that just fell out. The Ace of Wands is the energy of new beginnings, of new growth. Maybe someone might be having a baby because there's a baby here. Um, it's a very grounding energy. It's, it's really, really, really good card. It's new beginnings, you guys. Um, it's a new start. You're being, I feel like you're transforming because we do have like she has like a butterfly wings so you're transforming butterflies transform so you're definitely transforming you're having a lot of like motherly type of mature not just motherly but the wands represent like fire 
um, a lot of growth. Oh, whoever's having a baby, when's the baby shower? <laughs> Send your girl an invite. <laughs> I love that. Yes. And if you're not having a baby, it's just like a new beginning, right? Um, whatever conflict you're having could be with a person that's romantic, could be non-romantic. Everybody's not going to have the same scenario. Just, you know, decipher it the way that it would like fit your life. Definitely take that time to like recuperate, but don't get stuck, okay? Face your fears. Let your inner voice be heard. That's what I'm getting with the wolf. Let yourself be heard. Yes. You got two aces, ace of cups and ace of wands. There's a lot of love. A lot of like good energy a lot of new beginnings that are coming just don't get stuck on this you know if you play too hard you could get hurt but you gotta keep moving forward even if you get hurt you have to like still move forward everybody like hurts themselves right whether it's not like emotionally, let's say, you know, a small child falls, he scrapes his knee, yes, he's upset, and yes, it's like hurting, but you have to move forward. Get yourself out of out of that rut. Alright. Aries, that was your reading. Also, um, I offer personal readings. If you guys want to go ahead and um get personal readings i'll leave all the information in the description if you could also like and subscribe to my channel p.s i upload every weekend you guys all right aries that was your reading love you guys bye